What's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Scuff Vantage 2 PlayStation 4 and PC controller. Now I've been testing this thing out for a few months, been really enjoying it thus far. And compared to the original Vantage controller that came out last year, Scuff didn't do too much to improve the actual design, form factor, and function of this newer version. They just kind of did slight changes to make the build quality, fit and finish, and overall feel of the controller a little bit more premium and it definitely feels better in the hand all the buttons feel a lot more dampened solid and less plasticky and less cheap feeling than the original vantage controller now specifically in this video i'm going to compare it against one of my favorite third-party playstation 4 controller and that is the astro c40 now the biggest design feature on the astro controller is the fact that it has a swappable modular design where you can swap out or reconfigure the layout of the uh, thumbsticks as well as the d-pad so if you want that traditional dual shock symmetrical analog thumbstick pattern or if you want an asymmetrical patterns on the thumbsticks like you have on the xbox style controls you have the ability to do so all in one controller now earlier this year when the c40 came out we actually did a comparison between the original scuff vantage controller but i want to update it because one of the uh, key advantages that i thought the astro had was build quality fit and finish and overall comfort in the hand i just thought the scuff vantage didn't feel as nice as uh, the uh, astro uh, based on my preferences and especially the build quality and overall fit and finish and material that they used to make the original Vantage controller just felt plasticky as we mentioned before and the Scuff 2 addresses those issues fairly well not to mention that the fact that it's super customizable has a lot more custom configure buttons on the back and the sides plus right now from a price perspective the Scuff Vantage 2 is on sale during the holiday season you can get the wired controller that we have over here for under $150 which is $50 cheaper than the Astro C40 which only comes in the wireless slash wired package now if you do want to get the bluetooth version which granted won't be as good in terms of latency for wireless performance as uh, the astro c40 which is used 2.4 gigahertz uh, dedicated a wireless transmission uh, but you can still get it cheaper at under 180 dollars on sale again during this holiday season for the vantage 2 so the vantage 2 right now as i'm making the video is the cheaper controller and in a lot of ways it uh, gives you a lot more for your money but that being said the astro c40 still has that versatility factor and that whole gimmick of swapping out your thumbsticks and d-pads which at this point not many controllers have to offer so it still has a couple of tricks up its sleeve and even though the vantage 2 has better overall build quality than the previous generation is it better than the astro in terms of ergonomics build quality and overall design is the question we want to address in this video and before we go on any further as you may or may not know we do have to purchase uh, these products independently since we don't get any samples from the company at this point and in order to make these videos possible we do have to rely on our awesome sponsors like Surfshark. Now if you value your online privacy and freedom a good trusted VPN service is an absolute must have. We all know that there are millions of services right now tracking your every move studying what you're buying and what you're searching online and by using industry leading encryption algorithms not only will Surfshark hide and protect your real IP address but it will also safeguard you from targeting targeted advertisements, online activity trackers, as well as uh, malicious attacks on your username and password. Now, Surfshark has dozens of advantages compared to other VPNs out there. Some of my favorite include camouflage mode, where they'll ensure that not even your internet service provider knows that you're using a VPN. And they have a very useful split tunneling system where not only will you be able to bypass the VPN for specific applications, but also specific websites. That could be a certainly handy, especially for banking websites and apps now lastly one of the reasons why i wanted to promote surfshark is i actually want to use them because they are one of the most affordable vpn services out there and in fact it even gets even better if you go to surfshark.deals slash mw tech and enter our code mw tech you get 83 percent off the service as well as three additional free months during the holiday season they also have a no risk free trial period if you're interested and check out the description down below for more details big thank Thank you for Surfshark for making this video possible. 
Now, coming back to our comparison at hand, let's talk about the weight difference between these two controllers. Now, the cool thing about the Vantage 2 and indeed the first Vantage is you could actually take out the vibration modules on both left and right side of the controller, uh, making it extremely light. You can actually get it under 200 grams. In fact, without the vibration modules, you're looking at about 194 grams. With the uh, vibration modules, you're looking at about 283 grams. And in both case scenario, that is still lighter than the Astro C. 40 which weighs around 310 grams and the overall feel of the controller is definitely more heftier it's beefier and uh, definitely optimized for the larger fatter hands like i have myself now in the hand the scuff vantage 2 definitely feels more reminiscent of the standard dualshock 4 controller and uh, you're going to be very comfortable if you're used to that kind of size weight and overall dimension of the standard DualShock controller with the Scuf Vantage 2 versus the Astro C40 feels a little bit more old school Xbox. It feels definitely, again, rounder and larger. It definitely has more palm support if you like that. And uh, the overall materials on both, as we mentioned before, are kind of this rubberized textured finish and uh, they're uh, very grippy. And even if you're a sweaty mess after a long gaming session. Now, in terms of general upkeep, one of the disadvantages on the Astro controller is that since it uses this black matte finish and it's rubberized it does leave some grease marks and overall fingerprints especially uh, after you've had it for a while now on uh, the uh, Vantage 2 because you can change out the faceplate and depending upon what color you get the faceplate it is better in terms of not noticing those kind of nasty grease marks and fingerprints like that especially if you get a finish like this which is kind of a metallic gray uh, it definitely is better for general upkeep and uh, another advantage on uh, the Vantage 2 side is the fact that you get multiple of these plates with different themes, different graphics, different color combination. There's literally infinite number of possibilities, and that has definitely a big advantage from an overall personalized and customization perspective on the uh, scuff side. Now, continuing with our topic of customization, uh, there are some uh, factors that you can change on the Astro controller in terms of the length of uh, the uh, thumbsticks themselves, the finish of the thumbsticks, whether you want concaved or convex, but uh, pretty much everything else is fairly limited besides swapping out the different modules you have available. There's not a lot of modules actually available, so there's only one D-pad style that we have over here and only one module for the analog thumbsticks themselves. Now, the scuff controller is probably the most customizable controller out there on the market you can change pretty much all the different faces for the buttons themselves including uh, the triggers the thumbsticks the bumpers the overall uh, concaved and convex shapes of uh, the analog thumbsticks the length of the thumbsticks you can swap out the d-pad for a plus a configuration or a circular configuration if you want to enable diagonal commands and movements could be helpful for fighting games and things like that and you even have the option to swap out the rings that go around the thumbsticks itself they call these anti-friction rings to i guess reduce the level of friction of the thumbsticks when you're gliding it around the edge of the faceplate itself now let's talk about the triggers themselves now both have a hair trigger mode it's a lot easier to configure on the astro c40 with the rear mounted uh, switch that you toggle up and down to enable hair trigger mode and to switch to full range of motion on the triggers now the vantage 2 hasn't changed from the original vantage control you still have basically this dial that you adjust manually at uh, the bottom side of uh, the triggers itself. It's uh, relatively easy to do, but a little bit more finicky and certainly a lot slower uh, than compared uh, to the Astro C40. The cool thing about the scuff control is you can actually swap out the face plates of the triggers. So if you want longer triggers, that's also possible compared to the shorter standard triggers that you get on uh, most uh, controllers out there and in addition to that you also have an allen key that allows you to adjust the tension of the triggers to the point where you can have it super loose and floppy all the way up to uh, completely firm and hard to press in and even to the point where you can't even press in the trigger so if you want a hard stop mode that's also possible on the scuff in certain examples if you don't want the left trigger to work for whatever reason or the right trigger to work you can configure that uh, so you don't accidentally 
accidentally hit it for whatever reason. Now moving forward, let's talk about uh, button remapping capabilities as well as the amount of extra buttons you have on each controller. Now the C40 is super simple. You basically have two UL and UR buttons. They're paddle buttons on the bottom side. Easy to access, you can remap whatever buttons you want on the existing uh, PS4 controller on those two paddle controls. Now, as you can see, the Vantage 2 uh, definitely has a lot more paddles at the back. We have four individual paddles. They're extended. They're super clicky, very mechanical-like feel. And uh, you can, again, uh, assign any individual command uh, to these paddles at the back. We also have two sax buttons on the left and right side of the controller. And again, they're fully assignable to any individual command that you have available on the standard PS4 controller. Now, it's probably best uh, to do all all your custom configuration using the scuff software that's available for pc and like the c40 the software allows you to control a couple of different aspects about the controller if you want to change the dynamics of the thumbsticks uh, trigger response as well as the vibration motors you can pretty much set those parameters and set individual profiles uh, for the controller itself so both are pretty good in terms of their software capabilities now, one big complaint about the uh, C40 is the fact that you don't have any dedicated volume control dials for both your microphone and your headset itself. Now, we do have a large uh, touchpad on the Vantage 2 controller specifically for that purpose. So that's definitely a nice advantage if you want full control over your volume of the headset that you're using. Now, in terms of the battery performance, both have pretty much the same size battery, 1,000 milliamp hours, very similar to the standard DualShock 4 controller. And in typical use, Use case scenario, I get around six to eight hours on the Astro C40, and if I uh, pretty much turn off the uh, vibration motors, I can get up to 10, 12 hours as uh, Astro uh, recommends, but in most case scenario, if you do have the vibration motors on, the battery life is kind of subpar in my opinion. Now, the Vantage 2 is rated up to 20 hours according to Scuff if you don't use the vibration motor, and in typical use case scenario, I get well above uh, 10 hours with the vibration motors on, and with it off i haven't tested thus far uh, but i'm sure it'll get a little bit better battery performance so general battery performance is probably going to be better on the vantage 2 based on my experience thus far now lastly in terms of connectivity and support as we mentioned before the astro c40 comes only in a wired and wireless configuration it uses 2.4 gigahertz it's uh, supposedly going to give you a sub five millisecond response time in terms of latency which is going to be definitely better than the bluetooth protocol used on the vantage 2 wireless model now if you get the wired mode not only is it cheaper but uh, you're definitely going to get better overall latency because you can't really beat a wire in, in terms of that regard. Uh, and uh, when we're taking a look at the overall value proposition of both of these two controllers, yes, they're definitely overpriced for just game controllers you can get the standard playstation controller for well under 50 dollars these days and the console itself is less than 200 dollars. so what is the point of spending almost 200 dollars on a controller you might may ask well uh, certainly uh, when there's a product and market in mind there are people still out there willing to pay uh, this much for a controller especially for the custom configuration uh, value that you get with something like the scuff vantage 2 on the astro c40 side yeah Yes, the novel experience of being able to swap out the thumbsticks to your preferred uh, configuration is kind of nice, but at the end of the day, it's more of a marketing thing than anything else. The real selling factor is the overall the ergonomics and the build quality, and I think at this point, the Vantage 2 has the Astro match. So in most case scenario, if you're looking for that premium controller for your PC, PlayStation 4, I think the Scuf Vantage is the controller uh, really to get, and it's going to be tough to beat at this point. But besides that, guys, that's really it. I definitely love to hear your thoughts on which uh, custom PlayStation 4 or PC controller is your favorite out there on the market right now. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Make sure you have notifications turned on so that way you get our videos once they become available. Big thank you to Surf VPN for making this video possible, and an even bigger thank you for you guys for watching our content and making all this stuff possible. We'll see you later and take care.